On the morning of the Air Force game, Army discovered it had gained a partner, the weather. It was typical West Point weather. Well, it was cloudy, it was rainy, it was it really wasn't that cold, but it was kind of miserable weather. And uh, it's the kind of weather we like to play Air Force in. It, last time they were here, it rained and was very cloudy, and we beat them. So we were, we felt comfortable with them coming in here and the weather being like it was. The weather was perfect for Army's relentless option attack that confused and frustrated the Air Force. Running outside or inside, the cadets hammered at the visitors, keeping them guessing and off balance. Then, early in the second period, a gutsy but well-calculated fourth down call turned this struggle in Army's favor. It was fourth and, and short on approximately their 40-yard line uh, in the second quarter of the game, and they were ahead seven to nothing. And so we faked one of our inside runs, and the quarterback kept the uh, ball on a bootleg around the uh, far end. And uh, Air Force was completely fooled, and he ran the ball down to about the 10-yard uh, line. Uh, the circumstances were uh, set for that uh, because uh, earlier in the year, I'd watched uh, San Diego State run the same play against Air Force in a short yardage uh, situation. At that time, it was a, a good gamble. Now the Falcons didn't know what to expect as McWilliams finished an impressive 82-yard drive. The Army ground game again proved devastating. Sophomore Mike Mayweather's 192 yards on the ground would be the 10th best single game effort in the history of Army football. For the game, he outrushed the entire Air Force team. Ben Barnett scored, the cadets surged to a lead which proved insurmountable. There were many heroes on Army's defense this day, a tough, aggressive group that bottled up Air Force's offense. Defenders like Mike Thorson, O'Neill Miller, Chuck Schretzman, Troy Lingley, Josh Haynes, Will Huff, Dan Cooney, Pat Davey, Daryl Sherb and Ernest Boyd simply build a roadblock in front of every Air Force attempt. But it took a clutch fumble recovery by Greg Gadsden to give Jim Young's cadets the momentum they needed to clinch a coveted victory over Air Force. We needed to make a big play, and I remember Troy saying, we need a turnover, we need a turnover. And uh, that very next play, uh, uh, Dallas uh, and the fullback had a bad exchange, and uh, I had been trailing them all, all day long, and I happened to be right there when the ball came out and fell right on it. Three plays later, McWilliams converted the turnover into a touchdown, and Army was about to wrap one arm tightly around the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. The Cadets' ball control offense rode the legs of McWilliams, Mayweather, Barnett, and Cass for 394 yards rushing and held possession for just under 36 minutes of the game. Army had not only whipped the Air Force, but had dominated both sides of the ball. They now needed only a victory over Navy to return the Service Academy Championship to the banks of the Hudson.